Okay, I'm going to do a quick recap of what we just learned in class uh, using shape tween and easing. So let's go ahead and uh, look at the basics of shape tweening. I'm here in frame one of an animation. And if I draw um, a square here, also I'm going to be using the onion skinning quite a bit so that we can see uh, what's going on. So uh, I'm going to create a new frame here at frame 60, a new keyframe. And you'll see that it selects it automatically. So I'm going to delete it. And because I have the onion skin on, it's showing the only previous frame, even though it says three, it's showing the only previous frame. And I'm going to grab my oval tool. I'm going to create a circle. And I'm going to select that circle and move it over here. I can click anywhere in the timeline and create a shape tween. So the shape tween we get by clicking right here. And you can see that. Now I've got the keyframes on, I mean, I'm sorry, the onion skinning on so you can see it move. So that is a shape tween with a shape. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this layer and we'll make another one. Because remember that we can shape tween with items that we have drawn by hand. So I'm gonna start this time with a circle. Not a great circle. In fact, I'm gonna edit it a little bit. The better your shape is, the smoother your shape is, the better this effect is gonna turn out. So uh, then I'm going to grab here, insert a keyframe on frame 60, hit delete, and uh, turn on my onion skin so I can see it. I'm going to draw a square or rectangle shape of approximately the same size. And uh, again, I should probably come back here and tighten this up just a little bit. Then I'm going to grab it, move it over here, click in the middle, insert a shape tween. I'm gonna turn off the onion skinning so we can see. And it tweens. Okay, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try doing kind of a complex shape. So I'm gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna turn this off. Then I'm gonna come over here and on frame one of layer three, I'm gonna draw kind of a triangle. And I'm gonna go ahead and touch that up. Not, I don't have to. Um, it's just going to make a slightly smoother animation. Then I'm going to come over here to frame 60, add a keyframe, hit delete, turn on my onion skin. And actually, I don't really need the onion skin, but let's try um, something bigger. And let's move that over here. I'm going to click down, do my shape tween, and turn off the onion skin, and let's see what we've got. So that's not too bad, because basically we have three points there, and kind of just two points really connected by two arcs. So let's try one other shape, <clears throat> and I'm going to come here to frame one, turn off the visibility here, and I'm going to make a triangle again. Then I'm going to come to frame 60, insert a keyframe, turn on my onion skinning so that I can see, and uh, I'm going to delete the shape. And uh, this time I'm going to make like a lightning bolt. And I'm going to select this lightning bolt and move it over here. So got two very different shapes if we click in here and create a shape tween, we get some weird stuff. Turn off the onion skinning so you can see it. Because it's trying to figure out how to make all those points come out of these points. So if we watch it, it's pretty weird looking. Now, one thing that we could do to kind of alleviate that or to lessen the impact of that is we could just fill in the shape with a, the same color here and here, and now, we, well, we still get a couple of weird turns, but it's not as bad or as jarring looking. We know that it's transforming. So <clears throat> that's another way to do, um, you know, your shape tween. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to uh, talk about trying to keep um, a complex shape and, and try to make sure that it doesn't turn inside out and look really weird. And we can do that with shape hints, H-I-N-T-S. 
So I'm going to draw like a teardrop kind of shape. And I'm going to come here and do another teardrop shape with my onion skinning on. And I'm going to make the shape go in the other direction. Okay, so now we're going to convert from here. I actually move this over a little bit from here to here. And I'm going to go ahead and insert my shape tween. So let's see what happens. Turn off the onion skin. So it does work, but what is happening there? Right, that, that point is morphing kind of weird because it doesn't really know what to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to add shape hints, which you do by modify, shape, add a shape hint. And you'll see that it's like it says A. And when you put it, what I'm going to do is I'm, going to, I'm basically going to put it on a part that is important. Like I'm telling the computer, try to make this look good like or, or look this way. So and you'll see that it kind of magnetically pops onto the end. And it should turn green when it's in the right place. And then we're going to go insert, and you'll see, <clears throat> modify, shape, add a shape hint. Because remember, it's seeing the inside and outside. So I need a B right there. So and now when I come here to frame 60, I've got the same shape hints. And I can pop that in. Now it's very concerning that it's green there, but not here. Oh no, now it is because I've locked them together. So now let's take a look at it. Not bad, not perfect, but not bad. It's a lot better. So if we hit play, <clears throat> also if you want to not see those shape hints, but not delete them, you just say view, um, hide, uh, well, show shape hints and turn it off. So they're still there, but they're just not in our way anymore. Okay, so the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to talk about easing. And that is basically that things in nature don't just move at one solid rate. When a car goes from zero to 60 miles an hour, there is an acceleration right before it hits 60. Um, and the same thing holds like when you go to move your arm, when you go to move your hand or, or go to run, like your leg will start slower, then it'll build up momentum and inertia, and then it'll speed up. So what we want to do is when we have, um, if we click anywhere in the timeline, we see that over here under properties, we have tweening. And it may or may not be open on your screen, but if it's not open, you just click it here. And we've got effects right here. So let's let's play this through one more time by itself with no easing. So you see it's a steady state. It moves at exactly the same rate. So what easing will do is it'll kind of slow it at the beginning, it'll pick up speed, and then it'll slow it before it gets to the end. So again, I have to be clicking somewhere in here. And then I'm going to go to classic ease. So if we go to classic ease, right now it's at zero. That's why it doesn't look like there's any easing. So if I hit 100 or type in 100, you see that number one, it converted to classic ease out because now we've put a value in there. The classic ease is just basically, it's not zero easing, but it's computer easing that isn't customized for the world. So now we've got classic ease out where it's gonna slow down at the end. So you probably notice that from here to here, it slows down automatically. So let's take another look at it. And it slows down. Another ease that we can use, sometimes it's slow at the beginning and slow at the end. And what we do is, all we have to do is click on the classic ease out and we have other choices. So there we go. Now we've got classic ease and out, in and out. And let's go ahead and play that. Slow speeds up, slows down again. Show you again. Now, once we have that, we can also come in here 
and um, we can change it to other forms, like here's bounce. So we're in ease in and out bounce. And let's see what that looks like. So if I move it back here. So basically it's kind of bouncing, not really good for this shape, but you can kind of see. And again, you haven't changed your animation. You're just doing it with the easing over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our own custom ease and out. So I'm gonna choose my effect to be no ease hit my return key, then I'm gonna hit the uh, pencil. And what I wanna do is I wanna come in here. Now I've been messing with it, so that's why I've got a lot of points. I'm gonna reset. If you see it, this is what we wanna start off with. And basically you've got the beginning and the end. So I can click and drag and put um, a point here at the beginning. That means it's gonna move really slowly at the beginning. And if I put a click and drag, it's gonna move really slowly at the end. So we don't even have to get out of this window, we can just say play. So you can see that speed. And I can make it even more pronounced by clicking and dragging these two points closer together. So now it's gonna go really slow, go really fast and really slow. And basically when you have a point Normally, you're, it's upwards, is the direction, is the linear direction to the, from left to right. But if you take any point, like I can add as many points as I want. If you take any point on this line and then make this point lower than the previous point, well, that means it's basically going to, get, going to move in reverse. So let's take a look at that. So you see how it bounced back? So I'll make it a little more pronounced. I can do the same thing here make it really dramatic. It's gonna go almost all the way back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. And of course I can edit this. I can also adjust the arc. And again, I have not changed my animation. I'm using the ease. And I can make that last bit really fast there. So, or as fast, I don't have like a lot of space, but I can always move it back up. And you see this little dip right here is represented in the slight backward motion in the animation at the end. So we can say save and apply. And now we've got it in here and it's called my ease. And if I double click it, actually we should have named it when I was going through, but you get the idea. So I want you to experiment with the shape tweening and the easing, and uh, I want you to create your own animation and um, make it interesting. Try a, different, a couple of different variations. You can have different timelines doing different things. Um, in fact, you might have uh, the regular shape tween at the bottom using your shape tools, a hand-drawn one, something like this drop where we use the hinting, and then, you know, on one of these layers adjust or multiple adjust the easing. So you can maybe have four different things, four different lines like I do, um, or five, and uh, you can create something interesting and copy that.